legitimate protest around legitimate issues, yes, for justice, fight and will be in solidarity. A strong signal from government senator and head of the Federation of Independent Trade Unions, David Abdullah, that he is not afraid to wear his trade union hat once the need arises. Senator Abdullah told workers at the protest on Tuesday his decision to join the protest should come as no surprise since he has not lost touch with the needs of workers and their struggle. That fighter has always stood and will always stand for justice, for equity, the government senator says, though, he does not regard Tuesday's protest as being anti-government, but simply a call for fairness and equity. He does not believe that Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Basesa or any of his government colleagues would frown upon his actions. He says there is an understanding in the People's Partnership government. I think they would have expected that as president of Phaeton, that I maintain the right to be involved in trade union work. Political scientist Dr. Hamid Ghani says the government senator and trade union leader is free to express his opinion. He believes Abdullah's participation in the protest was because he listened to his moral voice. While he does not foresee any problems with Mr. Abdullah's decision at the moment, he issues a note of caution. If the situation gets um, a little more tense beyond that, then um, he may be put in a position of, of he, David Abdullah, being forced to choose between the government that he supports in the parliament, in the upper house of parliament, and the trade union movement to which he belongs. Prime Minister Kamala Pasan Vasesa is on record as saying it is the democratic right of any citizen to protest. For CNC3, I'm Melissa Williams.